Well, hello everybody. It's Celine. I'm gonna give you guys a minute to get logged in and find us. I hope you're having a good day. Let's see. We'll share this over to the creative group. Make sure that my... Uh... Oh, hi, I see that there's a couple of you. Let's see, search for groups. There we go. All right, that's all done. Hey Kay, hi Jackie. Oh, it's so good to see everybody. All right, so true on the fly, I have, oh, hey Barbie, long time no see, I miss you. Um, true on the fly, I have no plan for today, but I did, pull this celebration stamp set um i had a friend who said that they thought that it could be really hard to work with so i'm gonna give it a whirl um it i forgot to put the clip down so um uh, that'll be interesting um it's called island vibes and um i don't know i think we should just play so if you have suggestions i'm gonna pair it up with this other set. So this is free. You can earn it for free with any $50 order in my online store. And um, this one's free with 100 and I can't seem to put it down because it has 21 different sayings. Why don't I flip the camera and I'll show you. Um, and uh, just give me one second to get the camera in the right spot. Okay. And I'm just gonna cover the camera with my hand while I uh, get this in place. It's a little tricky since I didn't flip my clip down. There we go. Okay. So here we go. And then I'm probably going to need to move my table here, but it's okay. So you get, I got a little paper trimmer here. I'm going to slide this. Look at all these sentiments. Um, thanks for brightening up my day. Just a card to say you're amazing. Sympathy. Hang in there. Um, it's okay to feel the feels. Eh, I don't know about that one. Where would I be without a friend like you? That's perfect. I, I feel that way um, about so many of you. Big congratulations. Um, but anyway, this stamp set has so many different sentiments. And I just love even like the happy birthday is a cool font. Um, so there's that one. And then there's this one that I've heard is tricky to work with. So I thought we might have some fun. Now I did splurge and got myself something new. Check it out. Many marvelous markers. This is every um, marker that comes in the main catalog. And I am opening it for you. I call it the chocolate box because on the side, it has a spot for where each of the markers in all the color families go. Um, so it is so fun to work with. And a lot of times if I attend a retreat as a guest, instead of running a retreat, which I do sometimes, um, this is an easy item that I can bring and I can have all of the inks at my fingertips when I go, especially I've been to ones where I've flown on a plane to go. So, um, I didn't have it right in front of me. So this one, Island Vibes, you can see it's brand new. I haven't um, put any ink on it or anything yet, but I thought we might play with it. So since it's brand new, um, it, it all of the stamp sets, they come with a bit of a film on them. And you can, there's a bunch of ways to, uh, like, rub it on your jeans is probably the best way. But if there's... Um, a film and it doesn't accept the ink you can hit it with like a pencil eraser um, for a more bold image you can even take a sanding block to it but you got to go gentle with it because you don't want to wreck the image or whatever um, but I thought this might be a nice block for that but I was just using my finger because um, I I washed my hands like 10,000 times today so they're extra clean no lotion um, 
Okay, so then there's the pineapple. Ugh, there's nothing like fresh rubber. Brand new. So fun. It's like somebody just cut it off the uh, the press. But you know the deal with this. Oh, I could have probably got a bigger block, huh? We'll do that. Um, somebody physically gets these lined up in this machine and they cut them, a um, whole big sheet of them all at once. So it's pretty cool the way they line them up so that we don't have to do as much work to get them ready to stamp with. All right. So for this one, what color green do you think that we should make um, this one? I forget what they call it. it might be a banana leaf. Um, it says it in the description on the website and I read it like just yesterday and I can't remember. Isn't that funny? Um, but what color do you want the uh, green leaves to be? If you're a Stampin' Up! person, you know we've got like shaded spruce, we've got garden green. Um, let's see, you tell me. Um, oh, we have old olive. Which out of those three should we use on this guy? And while you guys are answering that, I'm gonna dig into our note cards. Cause, um, I don't know, this image here screams note card at me. Potted palm. Thanks, Cheryl. You're awesome. <laughs> okay. Connie is saying that we should use shaded spruce, so I like that. Um, so we'll put the other two back in the chocolate box. Where do they go? Oh, here, I gotta show you, this is so cool. And they go right back in where they came out of. Love that. And um, for the bottom of the plant, I am seeing a metallic planter. So I'm gonna go with, uh, how about gray granite? Ooh, ooh, I kind of like that. Okay, so next, I'm gonna go to my extra pieces bin and we can see what shapes we have cut in here. That one, not big enough. Size matters <laughs> in this case. All right, how about, hmm. Adulting is hard, isn't it? Let's see. Tiny bit too small. He's like, I want to dump them all out on the table and go go for it. But oh, you know what? How about a scalloped circle? That's cool. So this came out of the circles dies, um, the layering circles dies. Let's see if it's big enough. Oh, look at how cool that is. Okay, so we'll use the circles. Hey, Bonnie. Good to see you. So many from our Monday night crew are here. Every single Monday night we um, get together on Zoom and we craft and we hang out and we talk about life and everything you can possibly imagine. Every topic, whatever's going on in people's lives, um, we kind of cover it all. It's pretty awesome. And you know, it's funny because it's exactly what um, I was missing for a while. You know, like this whole like pandemic and not having people around all the time. I love Monday nights because it really does make up for it. Now I am noticing that my, um, my stamp isn't accepting the ink the way I'd like it to. So it, it's just okay. So I'm gonna grab another shape and just stamp this on something else to see if I like it. I just gave it a huff to re-moisten the ink. It's okay, but I'm missing some of the, see how it came out like a little bit bubbly? So I'm gonna grab my cleaner. 
that's what I was saying. When, when I was feeling, when I, when I took it out, you could feel that there's some sort of like film and that happens in the manufacturing process. They have these titanium plates and they pull back the rubber after they basically melt it into the, ooh, my markers are shaking. If you hear that, that's the markers be shaken. All right, so what I'm gonna do, and um, you don't need a visual of this, I'm gonna rub it on my jeans to condition it, and then I'm gonna give it another clean. All right, so now let's see if that does any better. That's funny that I, I was just like, ah. okay. You could kind of see it as I went. It was beaten up a little bit. Um, and that's okay. It happens with new rubber. I love red rubber. I know that you can't see through it, um, but I absolutely love working with the material. It's tried and true. It's long-term. You keep red rubber for years and years and years, and it won't, like deteriorate as fast as photopolymer. I do like the photopolymer because you can see through it. There's, you know, trade-offs, but you know, over time it's, this is a long haul material. Although I've never had any problems with our photopolymers breaking down. I've heard stories of it. Um, now I can tell you, I'm looking at this and it already, it looks so much better. I gave it a huff try it on that. It is, it's a lot better. Okay, so now I'm going to go for it on my circle. Um, and we'll come back to that in a second. Hey, Christine. Yeah, Monday nights, they, they're fun. And we're all in our own space, but we're together. And I don't know. There's something about, um, all of us there that and we had a new person last night she just got an iphone for christmas val and um it was the first time that she ever did a zoom call and she did it last night with us um totally cool and had we all had a ball and she made some cards and so did we and although i i have a bunch of design work to do and i still haven't gotten past that first batch so maybe today you guys will help me get past that a little bit but I figured I knew that this was a challenging set for some and I thought well why not start with that okay so because this is a metallic pot and I want it to kind of look solid and obviously it's not I'm going to take my Wink Stella and blend this a little bit it seems dry everything's dry. It's because it's like 20 below wind chills outside today. Okay. So I got my metallic pot. And um, boy, I think I'd like that to be sitting on something. You know what? I, I have, get the best ideas with you guys here live. So I'm going to grab some post-it notes. And let's see. Okay, so post-it notes. And how about less blending brushes? These things are fabulous. I uh I can't get enough of the blending brushes. And then I suppose I'm gonna need um a surface so that I don't mess up the table. So I got a stamping mat and um, getting ready to go. All right. And then this is just computer paper. When I print up classes, the postage for classes, um, I get extra pieces of paper off the back. And when I do, I save them for my table um, for this exact reason. So I wish I had the long post-it notes. I, I couldn't find them on the first grab so I'm gonna start with a table and I'm gonna need a real ink pad for that um, let's go with 
cider. And I might kind of wreck my pot in the process, but I'm not going to um, mask it. So I sponge off a little bit, and then I'm going to add a background little table thing. Okay, so I have a table now. It'll be sitting there. Watch. Ta-da. And then... Um, Let's uh, put, let's uh, properly secure our table so that we don't mess it up. And then how about um, a little balmy blue? Oh, I just love stamping with you guys. I'm already ready to go roll now because I got like, you know what I mean? Like, ta-da, just like that we have ideas. So we got our table, we have our potted plant. Oh my goodness, this is coming together quite nicely. All right, let's uh, flip that over so I can see. Ugh, so cool. Hey, Vicki, there's another one of our Monday night girls. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. Everybody's welcome. Um, and you can come and craft and do whatever you want. Like you can, um, oh look, there's like a hair or something in there. I wonder if that's from my blending brush. That's kind of weird. It could be my hair. I, I swear I'm shedding. This time of year is crazy. I'm gonna put this over here for a second so I can use that block. And, um, hmm. How about this little Hello Sunshine? I love this stamp set. I can't seem to put it down. Let me see, here's a little Hello Sunshine. I loaded up um, a class on my little blocks and I used every little block that I have and they're still loaded up and I don't wanna move them just yet. Um, so we'll do Hello Sunshine. And maybe we'll go with the gray granite again. Um, now, when you're inking up photopolymer with a marker. My friend Joanne Cardone came up with this. You ink it up and then you pretend you didn't ink it up and then you ink it up again because the photopolymer doesn't accept the marker color as, as nicely as the red rubber does. So that should work. And let's see what we got. Oh, I smudged it a little, but it's not bad. I'm going with it. All right, let's see. So we got a focal point for a card and I'm gonna set this aside for a minute and I wanna keep going since I am, my brain is starting to fire now. All right, adulting is hard. Oh look, it even has dimensionals on it. So this is left over from a retreat. I did this as a, um, we had a wine glass with a straw and this went on the straw and that was the front of it. So that's funny that it ended up in my spare parts bin. All right. So I want, I have an idea here for the pineapple. And I was thinking um, it would make a really cool background for a project. So let's cut uh, some white down. I'm gonna go three and three quarter by five. I just love this paper cutter. It has lines every quarter inch. I don't think it's available right now. I think that uh, it's on back order. Um, I'm gonna do two of these actually, because I, I have all kinds of ideas rolling around in my brain now. Let's see. Okay. So first off, how about if we bring the balmy blue back in? Oh, it's so fantastic, yeah. All right, I'm gonna pull in, um, yeah, I'll put them right here so you can look at them. I'm telling you that it does. I think you're wonderful, see? I do. But you knew that, right? Okay, so I'm gonna sponge off just a little bit and then I'm gonna um, do some sky. Ah, that is so satisfying. I can't even begin to tell you. 
And then I think we could use a little bit of pink in our sky, don't you? Let me grab um, Oh, we are gonna have some fun, aren't we? So a little bit of polished pink. Oh, and look, there's a hair on that too. That's so funny. Like, <laughs> that's funny. All right, so I'm sponging off and I'm sponging off quite a bit on this one because it's a stronger pink. This is polished pink. And I'm gonna go right in there with the polished pink. And I'm gonna blend it right into the blue a little bit. So we'll get some purple tones a little bit. Oh, we just need a unicorn, it would be good to go. Um, and then maybe um, some, hmm. I really wanna see if I have long post-its because honestly, that would just make my life better. I have all of my post, all of my stuff in one place, so the post-it notes, if I had them, would be right here, but I am not seeing them. So, we're going to do something different. I'm going to try using a piece of paper instead. So this is just note paper, um, and I want to make, like, a little bit of water, so I'm going to... Um, Maybe I'll put a little adhesive there so it doesn't move. Just a tiny bit, and then we'll rub it off after. Okay, so let's try that. But I want I want some I want a water line. Okay, there we go. And so we'll go um, sponge off, and then here's my water. brush mark there okay and then I'm gonna bring in that cinnamon cider again to make some sand hopefully this will come out good again this is all on the fly so if it's not perfect well you saw me mess it up <laughs> love oh my goodness I don't want any white in this uh, line, I want it to be kind of flowy like the sand is meeting the beach. And look, there's our horizon line. <sighs> Anybody else wanna go to the beach? It's like so cold out. And then I really wanna add a little bit more depth of color up here like sunset almost, you know, like the sun had already went down. Okay. I hope you guys can see where I'm going with this. So I'm thinking that this would make a pretty cool, so do we wanna go uh, with this branch, and let me show it to you again. Do we wanna go black so that it's like sun setting, or do we wanna do it with a dark green? Talk to me. And I'm gonna grab another block for this um, stamp while I'm waiting for you guys. And in case you're wondering, I'm gonna rub the pineapple on my jeans as well um, and clean it. So black or green on that, on that plant. I'm just waiting for the comments to come through. And you can tell I rubbed it on my pants. It looks like blue jeans. see I know cinnamon cider is one of those colors it's such a um, calming black black dark green we get two blacks one dark green black 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 okay black wins all right let me get a black pad Gotta love me some memento. And um, I don't think I conditioned this one, so I'm gonna rub this one on my jeans. 
and give it a clean before we go. So let's see. We'll get the this and this and this. Okay. So memento. I got like three ink pads open on the table that I can see, and one has a hair on it. Good gosh. Maybe if they're coming out of the brush a little bit, like the blending brushes, I don't know. All right, so here we go. This is interesting, like there's a spot in there. It looks, oh, it's supposed to look like that. Okay, ready? Yeah, buddy. Look at how pretty that is. Okay. And then I wonder if I can go again somehow. Let me see. I think maybe just down the side a little bit. Judy, what would you do to be back in Hawaii right now, huh? I met my friend in person for the first time in Hawaii on the incentive trip. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so let's see. Just trying it out, you know? It's the worst thing that can happen. All right, so we have a cute background. Um, geez, I wonder if our plant would sit there. Nah, it's weird. Okay. I'm digging it. Anybody want to pick a sentiment? Let's see. I couldn't wait for a special occasion. Might fit good. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. Uh, boy, I better put the cover on some of these. You know, I'm just waiting, asking for trouble here. I'm going to... um. Put a little more cinnamon because there's a little bit of white there and I really want it to be like the wonderful I think you're wonderful I do I think you're wonderful <laughs> okay so let's see if I can find that I think you're wonderful thanks Judy Judy called that one and we'll maybe stick with the black. Let me close up some of these. It's tough because the minute I close them up, you know I'm going to want to go again, but I'll just give it a whirl here. Okay. Hey, Kathleen. Thank you. That's awful kind. Let's see. like it's hard to decide and I'm it's funny because I'm going right on this on this instead of using a cutout which is strange and it's kind of bubbling up a little so I'm going to ink up again all right oh that's pretty it still needs something though <sighs> All right, so we'll put that one to the side for a minute and we'll think about it, because it does, it needs, maybe I should have put a sun in there, but you get the idea. Um, all right, so I'm gonna stick that one to the side until I come up with another one, and all of that mess is messing with my brain, so I'm gonna switch out my paper and start with a new one. Now I have another idea, but this time I wanna go with the pineapple, so I'm just gonna move that off to the side. I cleaned the pineapple and I conditioned it and I am thinking I'd like to see this as a background so I'm gonna stamp it this is um, crushed curry And I'm just 
spacing it out a little bit and stamping it again. Here we go. Giving it a little bit of room. You know, once you stamp on these mats, the, the ink doesn't come off. So <laughs> I just thought about it before I made a mess on it. All right, so there's that. And then I think I need one more like there. I like this look, the background. Ta-da. Who's got a straw? <laughs> Anybody want a pineapple coconut? A small chair, yeah, that would be good. We used to have those chair cutouts. Um, I just wanna like move some of that ink. Oh, did you see that? Whoop, whoop. It's like, I like what it's doing there. And I know that I didn't do the top green and we can still go back and do that. Um, if we make another one, but I I like the background here. I'd almost like to see um, little bits of cinnamon, like maybe sponge daubed or something in that pineapple to make it a little darker because the crushed curry is pretty, but I think it, it could even be a little bit, you know, more vibrant. If we, um, let me clean the stamp and we'll um, mess around with that. So when you stamp with markers, you have the ability, uh, in fact, I'm probably clean all of them here while, I'm, while I have it open. If you, if you end up with bubbles, uh, or suds, you're using too much cleaner. Like I just did a couple of sprays and it, it's enough, it should be enough to clean all of my stamps. And they do sell replacement pads for these, but I've never bought them. I soak mine in the kitchen um, sink and rinse it until the water runs clear and then it's good to go again. I've never needed to buy new pads for it. Let's see, okay. How about we need a um, we need a shape that our pineapple will fit on? So I was measuring that pineapple earlier. It's actually kind of big at three inches tall, weighing in at three inches tall. The pineapple. Okay, let's bring in the chocolate box. And we decided that shaded spruce was the green we were gonna use, so let's stick with that. And then, um, that's, that's a big die cut. I know, I'm gonna, I'll look. But I want crushed curry. And if I want a cinnamon cider marker, I have to go over, because this one's new and, and they don't come with the in colors right out of the gate. You have to add them to the box yourself. So. I gotta get a cinnamon cider. Hmm. And what about evening evergreen? So when you're stamping with markers, you can actually add multiple colors. I'm gonna see if, I would, I, this is from a class I did. Um, oh yeah, that's a better shape, because it's, it's about, well, it's a little too small. Rrr. Growl. Let's see. This one is from... Well, it's a little thinner. I'm going to go with that one. All right. I have die cuts all over the place, so... Might as well use them. All right, so... I'm going to start with crushed curry on the bottom. And I really want to take a look at my image again because in here, it gets a little bit muddy. So... um I'd really like to see where the leaves end and where the pineapple starts because it'll look kind of funny if I have a yellow leaf in there. So I am coloring this and then I'm going to pretend I didn't color and then I'm going to color it again. 
thanks Joanne Cardone for all of that because that's her technique. And then I'm going to thump with the um, cinnamon cider. And it's like a drum um, when you do it. And I'm doing it in one direction right now, but we can just play and see if it if it's if we like it when, when we finish. And then I'm gonna add the green to the top. And I'm kind of guessing where the leaves end and where the pineapple starts, you know. But we'll uh go for it here. So yeah, your die cut would have to be at least three inches tall for this bugger, because it's it's a three inch pineapple. It's one heck of a crown. All right, let's see. All right, so I like the shaded spruce, but just like the other one, I'm gonna add evening evergreen and I'm gonna thump that as well. So this is just gonna add a little bit of dark in with the light. So it gives you the opportunity to stamp in more than one color. It's also really good for omitting. Um, <sighs> so if we wanted that um, to use the congratulations stamp, for example, and we didn't want it to say big, we could just ink the part of it that we want. Aha. So here's our pineapple just with crushed curry. And this one was thumped with crushed curry and cinnamon cider and then shaded spruce and evening evergreen for the top. Wow, that's pretty fancy looking, huh? Let's see. Thanks. Good luck. I like the good luck. That would be kind of cute. I need just a strip of paper, though. So here, let's, um, let's find the good luck. Thanks, good luck is over here. A little delicate stamp again. I'm putting all the stuff I need to clean when I get off my live on the front, so. Um, and forgive the size of the block. Every little block that I have is taken right now. Good luck. Look at how cute that is. Okay, what color do we wanna stamp it in? Um, Let's go with the green, the dark green. And um, we can center that and make a little banner for it. I think I wanna make that strip a little smaller though. I'm gonna cut this down to a half an inch. So um, forgive me for one second. I'm just gonna bring my paper cutter in. And I do like that this trimmer gives me the flexibility to see how to cut that because it's so little. Um, and there's a there's a measuring tool on both sides, so I measured on that side of the half inch. Cool. And then we'll bring in that dark green again. Green for the Irish. My mother would be happy with that one. Let's see. My mom, she turned 81 this week. So happy birthday, Mom. Well, it was like, I guess it was last week because it's the third. All the days are flying together. <sighs> so stamp the good luck banner. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? Hmm, it's hard, like, <sighs> you know? I had some die cuts over here. Now that I'm seeing it stamped, I think it needs a shape. So let's do this. I think that was two. The girl who does my nails is out. She's been sick. And um, thank you for not doing my nails anyway when you're sick, you know. Um, but I took all my nails off to give them a break and I feel like a cat that's been declawed. Here we go. I'm gonna try it on this shape because I think it is a good look kind of shape. This is uh, from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. 
and then um, I'm gonna edge this. So if you're ever gonna edge your shapes, um, it's, a, it's a really great technique because it adds another layer of color without having to cut another piece of paper, right? But you don't wanna do it face down because the likelihood is if you slip, you'll write on your project. At this point, if I slip, I'll write on the back. So um, that's my tip on that. But I do like to edge when it's white on white because it makes it pop and there's a lot of white right here. Oh my goodness, I love it. All right, let's see what we got. We're gonna um, grab a piece of green. I might already have one cut because I was playing with this color yesterday. Let me see if that one fits. Oh, booyah. Now you're gonna think I planned it. I think we need ribbon. I have, um, in the evening evergreen, I have the chevron weed ribbon. And I think, yep. I have, um, both in Evening Evergreen, I have the the um, open weave ribbon or the chevron heavier ribbon. Which one do you guys want to use? You guys pick. And while you do that, I'm going to grab some scissors and open this bugger up. So chevron or open weave. Here's the open weave. It's kind of pretty. I like that you can see through it. A smaller, sheer, softer one. Yeah. Okay, so then I, don't, I won't even open this one. Um, and now I have another idea. Okay, I need Baker's twine. All right. Here we go. Don't mind me, just cutting a little piece of Baker's twine off. All right. Wow, that's pretty. All right, so I'm gonna take and wrap a few layers around my hand and make it nice and long. Is it too big? Yeah, it's probably too big. I'll make it a little smaller. So I'm making just the loops. Basically what a bow is, is a bunch of loops that are um, pinched in the middle, right? So I get two loops there. Ha, <laughs> loopy like me. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go around one more time. There we go. Okay, so I got, I got my loops that are pinched in the middle. So if I were gonna finish off this bow, I just need to tie it in the middle, right? So I'm gonna use a little baker's twine, something different, and tie this off. I really am all thumbs without my nails. So bizarre. Okay. And there's a little bow for the middle and I'll trim that and then I can take this off the thing and actually I saw Bonnie do this last night and I thought it was kind of cool uh, Bonnie Blanchard she took this to make it um, even more delicate and sheer and sliced it up the middle it was um, originally a technique she saw uh, from one of the artisan team members Tammy Wilson and she thought it was cool, and now I think it's cool too. So I'm just gonna slice this up the middle. That's the open weave. That's a big bow. I feel like I need a bridesmaid or something to carry it. Let me see. Might be too big for my little shape. Well, ah, it really does give it the island feel, doesn't it? All right, that's, that's too cool. All right. 
Whew. Let's stick some of this down. I need like a crushed curry base. I'm sure I have one up in my cabinet. When I'm when I'm prepping classes and I have an extra base, I put it in one spot. And right now my bases are completely full, so I should have some sort of yellow. That's really fun. It's huge though. <laughs> it's bigger than I would normally make. That's funny. Should I, um, I'm not gonna dimensional this layer cause I'm gonna put dimensionals on that layer. Um, and I tend to do that. Like if I do dimensionals on two layers, I'm gonna end up paying extra postage. And uh, this is being white on white. I think I wanna edge it like I did the other shape. I know it's gonna take a second, but it'll be worth it. And again, it's um, bottoms up, so the, the tip is facing the front of the project. So if I slip, I don't, um, I don't write <laughs> on the face of my project. That's from years of doing this and learning the hard way. but I do like the little edging because it gives it a little bit more depth. There. Now, see, there's like a break in the action there. It's so cool when, when you get the little green edge here. Let me give you a close-up of that. It's nice the way it sits. And you don't realize it when you're looking at the card that there's an edge there, but it really lifts it up a little bit. I don't even know how I'm gonna stick this thing down. That's funny. So here we go, one, I'm gonna put a bunch of glue dots and say my prayers that it stays. It is awfully pretty. And then, um, it's like somebody gifted them the pineapple and the, the, you know what I mean? It's just so delicate. And now this guy is gonna go up on dimensionals I think I'm gonna need like three dimensionals to get it up high enough. Ah! All right, um, oh, dimensionals are not on the table. Let me grab some. I got a bunch of these in uh, some kits that I got and I've been using them up. I wanna see if that's enough or if I need to go. It's gonna need another layer. So I'm gonna pay extra postage on this one anyway. Who am I handing this one to? That's the operative question. Let's see if it fits now. Yep, that'll work. So it's two, two layers of dimensionals. That's crazy for that bow. But I like the uh, sentiment on top. It's definitely more than a quarter inch thick, so it's all good. All right, so there's that. And then we need a base. So let's grab um, maybe the yellow. Crushed curry would be nice. I have a daffodil cut. And that one might be the right color. Oh yeah, that'll work. So we'll just uh, lay this down, wow. That is really huge bow, <laughs> but that's cool. That's how you you know you experiment and see what you like and what you don't like. I think I like the concept of it, but I think I'd like it a little smaller. So here we go. It's like whoa. Here, how's your ribbon? Good stuff. Good luck. Ooh, that's a big one. Where to go from there, huh? All right. Let's come back here. Huh. What about... All right, I'm going to clean the pineapple and we'll have another go with that two-step stamp thing and the thumping. Let me see, um, yeah. Okay, um, 
So we used crushed curry, and then we thumped cinnamon cider. And then we used shaded spruce. And notice I'm scribbling on the side. Sometimes if I have people here in the studio and they're new to stamping, um, they, and, and they, especially with a brand new set of markers, I just bought these. If they do this, it makes my, um, my fingernails grow. <laughs> so I'm always on the side with these, with the brush tip of the marker when I'm inking images like this. That's funny. Do they still sell tape refill for the black tape refill? Janice, I think you're talking about um, uh, a product we used to carry and it's been replaced by, by Seal Plus. Um, and I'll tell you, these Seal Plus do fit in that black case. But the thing that this case has that the other one doesn't is a cover, so it doesn't get stuck in your um, in in your stuff. So it, I would recommend getting a new case. It's I, I think you're talking about uh, fast fuse, and it does. I I tried it. It's the insides fit, um, but I would recommend getting a new one just for the lid, because nobody likes to. So you, you see I'm cutting out the pineapple, ta-da. And I'm doing it with a little bit of a white border. And I'm trying to take my time, but I'm excited now, so it's kind of hard to take your time when you're excited. <sighs> so you can see where I'm going here. So I guess my creative block is done because <laughs> all I did was pick up this set that somebody said they were having trouble with and now I can't slow down with it. Gotta love it. But that's that's the power of having you guys here too because you help me with decisions and um, I want to see how this is going and if I'm going to like it before I cut the whole thing. And Oh, yeah, I guess I do. I I do think you're wonderful. You know that. Let's see. So we got this. It is a bit of work for the, uh, and maybe I should have gone green, but it's okay. I, I really like the, uh, It's like gonna be sitting in the sand. I almost wanna slice the um, the paper and put the pineapple in like it's sitting in the sand. Notice I'm moving the paper and not the scissors. It's much easier to keep the scissor in front of you. Um, I feel like I should have background music. I could sing to you if you want, but I think there's copyright rules about that. My my uh, my friend Brenda Donovan was doing um, Christmas cards uh, for a live video for her friends, and um, she had Christmas music playing on in the background, and she got censored. Um, that's pretty cool. All right, I think I'm going for it. Um, dimensionals. And I think, um, I like the green, but, um, I would like to see a little more green. So I'm going to move that 
ink that I stamped because it's water-based with the Wink Estella to get it to pop a little more. Yeah. And I just cleaned my brush off camera um, to get the green off it. Because then I don't want to go into the next project and have green on my brush, you know. Okay. Straight or crooked? Crooked. I just want to wear one of those on my head. <laughs> so I'll finish this one off with a few layers and... Um, it's a cute little note card, wow. Okay, and then we have this guy. And we started with some cinnamon cider. So I'm gonna grab some designer paper and see if I can get a match here. Oh, ooh yeah. Oh look, and it's a cutoff to boot. So I got some cinnamon cider designer paper and we'll bring in the white again. So I'm gonna tell you something. This current catalog goes out in a couple of months and the in colors that are leaving, um, will be gone in minutes. So if there's papers or inks that you want in the in colors, I'm gonna say you might wanna go ahead and invest early so that you don't miss the boat when it comes to um, when it comes to getting the, the stock of your in colors. You know, if you have the ink pads, just grab a refill to protect your investment and then you're, you know, you'll have an ink pad for a very long time with one refill. Um, but I would definitely recommend starting to think about picking up any extras. Okay, so we get that. Oh, this is so cute. Um, so this is three and three quarter by five. So I'm gonna go three and a half with the designer paper and I'm, I think I want a big chunk of it. So I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go three by three and a half. Cause I like the way that it um, is sort of sitting on that background and then it takes a break for your eye. So we'll just, that there. I, it does need some ribbon. I'm going to grab ribbon. I'll be right back. How about some white? And look, there's a piece of cinnamon cider over on my table. Okay. So I'm gonna stick the scallop circle down. These came out of the layering circles dies. And then um, I'm gonna make a quick bow. I'm just gonna check the back and make sure there's no funky loop-de-loops and I'm just gonna tie it. So I'm going loop, swoop, and pull. <laughs> Ta-da! Nobody makes a good bow out of the gate. You just gotta, um, you make your bow and then you mess with it. And then you get your fingers in the loops and have another go. I like to hold the knot when I pull so that I don't completely untie it. Trimming the extras. So pretty. Okay. And then dimensionals for this guy. So 
I'm noticing that um, my word sunshine is the thing that came out and there's like a funny line in my hello. So if you ever make a, like a mess with a sentiment, I'm not doing this one over because it's so pretty. Hey Jill, good to see you. Um, you can fix it by dotting. You don't want to draw because if you draw, it's going to look like you drew, you know, it'll make a line like, like, like a line, right? But if you dot, that's what makes it look like a rubber stamped image. So I'm going to just take my chances here and dot, 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 dot until I connect. Ugh, it's a little gummy. So little. Yeah, I'm probably going to leave it now. No one went to stop is half the battle. <laughs> All right. Got to make sure that you got enough support back there. <laughs> I'm only going to peel off a couple though. Um, it's It all is the same height and I, I don't need that much sticky. I just need it. I want to make sure that it stays popped up nice. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm gonna trim this. So it was three and three quarter by five. So I'm gonna go three and seven eighth by five and eight. So I'm just going up by two lines on my paper cutter to mat that. Boy, that's pretty. You know, I think I want, um, let's, I was originally thinking a white background for the card, like a white base, but now I'm wondering if we should put it on the balmy blue. Um, here, let me get a white and I'll get a piece of balmy blue. That's the white, just to give you an idea. I mean, obviously that's not cut the right size, but that's, that's white on white and then... This would be if we um, cut a base in the balmy blue. What do you prefer it on? Do you prefer it on the blue or on the white? Let me know and I'll, I'll cut a base. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do with the sky. <laughs> ah, it's a good concept, but... Mm. I don't know. It's not quite there yet. Blue, blue, blue. Okay. So let's just score. I always do, I always score first um, and then just cut my paper in half. So I'm going to score it four and a quarter. And again, I love this cutter because of the lines. They go all the way up and down the quarter inch mark quarter and then five and a half and um the five and a half line it starts up here but it you have a line the whole way at five and a half right here so it's easy to find okay so we got there's our card base it is pretty I wish we had like um, embellishments in that um, shaded spruce. I'm trying to think if I have a blends marker in that color. I'm gonna look real quick because if I do, we can color. Um, if not, I can come up with something else. But no, I have just jade. Um, all right, so what about these? Well, it's not really the right color either. All right, well, I'll grab the butter box and see what we can come up with. I'd really like something in that um, shaded spruce, but I don't have a 
anything that's that color. Oh, do I? Ha ha. Look at that. Oh, yeah, buddy. That's the um, the holiday rhinestones. Booyah. That's the right color right there, man. Not excited or anything. Ta-da. All right. Um, I'm looking for my take your pick tool. It's My table is completely buried. Okay, so one, that's a large. I'm gonna grab a medium one. And then we'll put a small one up here, sprinkles. Same color, that's so funny. I didn't think I'd have, I don't know if I like it now that it's on there. That's weird. All right, I changed my mind. I know that's bizarre, but whatever. After all of that, I think I'm gonna do this color instead. Yep. But it's still the holiday rhinestones. I just, I'm going with the blue, whatever that blue is. It really does look um, like it matches. So it might even be balmy. There we go, that's better. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. It was fun breaking in that stamp set with you guys. I, um, here, let me flip the camera. It was fun breaking in that stamp set with you. I didn't expect that the cards would turn out like this, and they're really cool. I like the pineapple as a background, and I do like that uh, ribbon fluff thing, but it was a little bit big. Um, that's okay. And then, um, yeah, they came out pretty good. So thank you, everybody, and I will see you soon. Um, there is a second catalog kickoff coming. We did Celebration last month, and um, at the end of this month, there will be one. I've rented Harmony Hall for the last Saturday in um, January, so if you're local, you can come to that. It's a 12-card card-making day. Um, and if not, it'll be available online. And um, this week I am buttoning up the Valentine's Day. I just had to film the video. The PDF is out to my friend Mary, who does all of my proofreading. And um, what else? There's a lot going on, but I'll see you guys soon. And hopefully uh, keep stamping. And if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any projects, please share them in the creative group, uh, Creating with Celine, I will post the link up above and um, we've had a lot of people sharing this week projects that they're making. I don't know if people are inside because it's so cold, but um, lots of stamping going on. So we'll see you guys soon. Thanks.